Hello, welcome to my next video. So in this video, so in this video, so in this video, I'm going to recommend movies for you, the audience. Now these movies have a common theme or an or cat like yeah, common thing. And that's comedy. Now usually I'm not a big comedy fan. What? You're not a big comedy fan? You liar? Who said that? When I recommend um, movies, it's like movie, of course movies that I've seen so far. I haven't seen every single classic movie. <gasps> Because literally that's like a lot of movies. That's honestly a lot of movies. And there are some movies that's like, you know, hard to get. Because they either have had a big, like a low distribution. Or it wasn't like blah, blah, blah. And then, now the blah, 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 blah. If you did not understand that, then um, Google Translate it. Um, the language is called blah, blah, blah. So, number one, the major and the minor. I know the major and the minor does not involve music. So that's what you were thinking. The major and the minor is a comedy film. Comedy, rom romance, film, action. Its lead star is Ginger Rogers and Ray Mellon. Now you might recognize Ginger Rogers, Rogers or recognize her name. She is famous for doing mu musical, Musical, some sort of comedy films with Fred Astaire. She won an Oscar for um, Kitty Boyle, which is another is a kind of drama film. So, major and the minor. It's about a young woman who had to dress up or disguise herself as a twelve-year-old girl in order to buy her train ticket because she didn't have enough money. She later meets a major, a sergeant or a lieutenant, I forgot, played by Ray Milland. Malland, Milland, Milland, Mila. I'm gonna call him Ray Ray. And um, later falls in love, but he believes, in his perspective, he believes that she's a 12 year old girl. And now, here's a photo of reason why. Do you guys see the Photo, because honestly, I can't. Photo! Why is it, wait, do you, is it over here? It's right here, right guys? Okay, good, perfect. This is a little sneak peek photo, it's not a video, but it's a photo of what you expect. Now that is Ginger Rogers, and yes, she is a brown hair. She dyed, I'm guessing she dyed her hair brown, so. Yeah, and then she definitely got the height. She is very short. It's a great loving film. It, it always makes me laugh whenever I see it. It's hard for me to laugh. Um, yeah, because I'm not a type of person. I don't know what what the hat is for because she looks like a walking mushroom. You know, she reminds me of Toad. If you don't know who Toad is, like, you know, the Mario universe, that she really looks like one of those Toads. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It just she looks like And then Ray, oh my God, he's so handsome in his uniform. I love the swords behind the scene. It's a, hey! Jack! Sorry for my language, but there was a car passing by, and I thought he was trying to grab all the attention from you guys. Second movie is called Bringing a Baby. Bringing a Baby. Bringing a Baby. Bringing a Baby. It stars Katherine Hepburn and Cary Grant. Now, these two people have been in a couple of the movie, blah, 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 movies, too. The Philadelphia Story and The Holiday. All three of these, Bringing a Baby, the holiday and Philadelphia story are have like comedy and romance in it. I think this is one of my favorite, um, so far one of my favorite Katie Grant and Catherine Hepburn movie. Even though I do love Philadelphia story so much, I just love it. They have great chemistry besides, you know, Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy. 
but they just have great chemistry. Then here's a flip photo to prove it. It's a cheetah facing Kelly Clanton. Catherine Hepburn, and you see this fear in their eyes. Yeah, so. Um, it's one of those movies that, you know, you meet someone and you hate them at first and then you realize, oh my god, I'm in love with this person. Have you realized there are so many comedy films or TV shows? Like if you're especially doing romance, at first you hate them and then you start to love them. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to be comedy, but it can also be like, you know, drama. Have you realized that? It's like Pride and Prejudice and stuff. Weird. That is what love is. You have to hate them at first. That is the number one rule. This movie is a heartwarming film. It's kind of adventurous. It has some action and I just, I think it's one of my favorite Cary Grant's performances. He's really charming and Captain Hepburn, I mean, Four time Oscar winner. It's nothing like negative to say about her. She just amazed you. She ma they make you laugh. Um, so if you want to know what is going on in this photo, in this scene, watch the movie to find out why there's a cheetah and why the cheetah is not devouring them. Wow, I know a big word. I'm just kidding. Fourth movie. It's called Harvey. 1950s film. Its lead star is James Stewart. James Stewart. James Stewart. He is an Oscar winner of the Philadelphia Story and an Oscar nominee for It's a Wonderful Life. This movie is a very unique comedy film, especially for James Stewart. Now, I'm not saying that James Stewart is not a funny guy. He is actually as a, like he, he plays the role of comedy really well. Well, this one is a very unique film. It's about a guy who believes this, I mean, 10 foot. I forgot how, how, how tall this thing is, but imagine it's somewhat high, tall, imaginary friend. And his friend, is a talking bunny. Yeah, you might not have seen that coming. No, it's a bunny named Harvey. And the best part about this film, well, not the, I shouldn't say best part, but the, the uniqueness of this film is that you don't see the bunny. You don't. Um, so it's technically from like the other people's perspective that don't believe that this bunny is real. It's not from James Stewart's perspective. But the way he portrays it feels like he's there, even though you know it's not. The best part is that, I mean, we don't know if Harvey is real, but there are some like really like suspicious things that are happening that are like, you know, not realistic, so. It's a very um, unique film. And James Stewart's character just goes through this, um, I shouldn't say face, but life and people judging him and trying to help him realize that Harvey isn't real, but wonder if this is best for him to think that Harvey is real or not. So you have to watch the movie to find out what happened. To him and Harvey. Photo time! So you see this photo, James Stewart. It's a painting of James's character. Stop getting from my camera! Another car. Pass by. And he's sitting next to a bunny. So maybe Harvey's real. Maybe Harvey is right behind you. You know, now I have this feeling that Harvey 
He's in this room. Hey, guys, come here. I think Harvey's here. You see, my chair just moved, and now I did not move it. Here, I'll, 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 I'll prove it to you. See, it moved. So that means Harvey might be here. And if you can't understand me, then you need to have your ears checked. I really think that these movies have great um, uniqueness, comedy, and I think it's a lot, like these movies are great for family. Laughter and comedy and life. It's something that everybody needs. And um, especially right now, and I think it's something that you need to. And I'm not making... No, actually, no, I am making you watch these films. I mean, you can tell that I can't tell if you watch these films. But I know you will. And I hope you will. And I'm kind of making you watch these movies. Because, I mean, that's what my um, YouTube channel is kind of about. And, um... Yeah, movies really bring people together and um, it brings live into, well not live, but entertainment, emotions, feelings, thoughts, stuff. I'm sorry, it's just, I'm not, I don't feel well. Talking about all these like goody goody things and light touchy feelings, oh, it just makes me nauseous. It makes me sick of myself that I'm talking about all these gushy gushy things. Yes, I just said gushy gushy. So I think I'm going to leave. Otherwise, I will put a. I'm gonna hit myself with a bat. So see ya. And hopefully, um, you watch these movies and um, blah, 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 blah. So, in this video, 